Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie is a Don. I remain your host, Chad of Fury333, and this second match is going to be between 400 and Snuggle Base on Vitra, which I'm sure we're all familiar with by now. Snuggle Base going for a Glugabot Factory? A bit of a defensive one. And actually, no, nah, it's not that much more defensive. It's just it's, you don't usually place them here. The way that 400 is placed theirs, that's very typical. The way Snuggle Base is placed theirs, they've intentionally changed the orientation. And I find it curious why. Looks like they're trying to create a bit more of a walled-off area for their factory, so it's harder to get to the unit inside. Which is an interesting strategy, actually. Very much a bit of micromanagement, but it might actually pay off, depending on how much harassment goes on from 400 side. And... We have seen that 400 is pretty good on this map. Although the last game we saw with 400... Actually, I, believe, I recall their, their harassment did do quite a lot of damage, so yes, this is a good idea. Snuggle base is definitely playing it relatively safe. So 400 right now is already setting up most... Well, okay. Snuggle base has their constructors earlier on, which is generally a stronger choice. But 400, with their glaives out already, although admittedly not defending against the glaives Snuggle base is sending in, but the glaives are out already, going for a couple of conjurers and just powering all the construction at once. While 400 focused a bit more on... Her, I mean, focused... Oh, sorry, Snuggle Base is focused on getting the harassment in there, and they're focused on getting most of their construction kind of interleaved. 400, on the other hand, focused much more on getting block construction, and that's being followed up by Warriors, which is an interesting choice. To be quite honest, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, 400 is going for a lot of harassment, so their focus on anti-harassment right now is a bit curious. Anyway, all they've managed to do will be that metal extractor that they're wisely running away from the commander, because otherwise that would have been death. I mean, 400 glaives there. That's four glaives with defenses there. That's not the bandits that we saw last game, where it was four bandits with no defenses around killing a commander. Four glaives will not manage that with defenses around. So, bear that in mind. It's always worth noting. And with that, it looks like 400 has been forced to retreat both their glaives that were used for harassment, the ones that survived, having been destroyed, and that leaves not much else. So 400 a little bit behind Snuggle Base. Snuggle Base's expansions being a bit safer, though 400 now with their on plateau expansions, those are being set up, and they do have some other expansions going on inside or right outside of their base. So it's really a matter of whether or not Snuggle Base harasses out what 400's building up right now. If they do so, then 400 will have a much harder time, obviously. If not, 400 will be able to get ahead in economy very quickly. I mean, as it is, 400 is actually even, and. No, slightly ahead, never mind. Just got even, but then, yeah, got slightly ahead. So we'll have probably a bit of harassment coming from Snuggle Base, but the thing is, Snuggle Base can't do much with the warrior right there. However, getting lucky, smacking into the Conjurer, that is perfect. That's exactly what they want to do. Snuggle Base able to take out a free Conjurer. I'm sure 400 is kicking themselves for moving their Conjurer the way they did, not paying attention to it. And the warrior being moved out of position, too, to try to hunt down the Glaives, but clearly 400 does not have ra No, 400 does not have radar. And that is a big deal, because 400 without radar means they, don't not, they do not have any way of knowing that these glaives move so far out of position. This warrior is totally useless right now. And another metal extractor going down, Snuggle Base now even economically. But neither player really producing all that much from it. Snuggle Base does have a conjurer in place to do so. 400 is actually doing so, and 400 managing to push away Snuggle... No! Snuggle Base's harassment still managing to work out. That's another metal extractor down. So that's one conjurer, two metal extractors... And a warrior that's way out of position. Had that warrior not moved, it would have at least killed this glaive at the very end. But no, not even then. 400's warrior is completely ineffective right now. It's doing nothing. This one over here might be a bit more effective. It might be able to deal some damage. But the one back at the base is... Okay, it's going to get lucky. Glaive is going to commit suicide unproductively against this warrior. And no, not even... Wow! Hero glaive. Like, seriously, that glaive... That glaive deserves to go on break. Like, just indefinite leave. It's done his duty. But nope, it continues to fight because that's what it does. That's all it's meant to do. That's all it knows what to do. And now it dies ignobly, thanks to a defender. At the same time, though, Warrior over in 400's base managing to wreck up the place quite nicely. 400 curiously... Sorry, to a Snuggle Base's base. I don't know why I'm screwing this up. 400 and Snuggle Base's base getting that Warrior ripping things apart. Getting rid of some storage as well, which is actually kind of worthless. Ironically, 400 could use some stores themselves, or at least could use some more constructors. 
But nice harassment coming in here from from 400. Managing to get rid of a decent amount of everything, really. Not able to get rid of the commander, mind. But able to get rid of a lot else. And these glaives could actually rush in right... Nah, they can't. Never mind. There are too many warriors. Snuggle base is already on top of that. But it doesn't really matter. The point is more that 400 managed to build up. So once again, these are naked expansions. So that means once again, we're dealing with a lot of problems. Though at this point, 400 using their commander as the defensive force of the shotguns. And it is actually... Okay, they are rushing in to, to harass. They are very eager to die, apparently. I mean, five glaives is enough to deal with one warrior with heavy losses. But there are five warriors. There are two warriors in any given location. These glaives are dead. These ones especially, since they're clumped up and the warrior is just coming in and... This is perfect. This is Christmas for the warrior. I mean, that was trivial. That was no problem whatsoever. So 400 right now... They need to worry a lot about their positioning. That's been a bit of a big problem for them. As, like, really big problem for them. They really don't want to get on that. And at this point, that is allowing Snugglebase to take a lot of the map, which means Snugglebase is just going to be getting bigger and bigger. Now, 400 does have quite a few safe expansions to take if they get rid of this one glaive over to the southeast corner. But if they manage to do that, then yeah, they got plenty of expansions to work from. But that's not happening at all. Like, there's one Contra here, and there's two more that are actually doing some work now, finally. They were a bit idle. Finally being put to work, but even then... I don't know, at least they have the radar up, so they know where to go, what to do. No rogues or Rockos coming in, though. A lot of Zeus's. No Rockos. And another dead Conjurer! 400 lost two Conjurers so far that we've seen. Pretty sure that's it that they've lost, but still, that... Those expansions have been completely wrecked because of the loss of Conjurers. That, that's winning Snuggle Base the game right now, is killing those Conjurers. The other thing winning in the game is the fact that they are... Well, not switch the economic advantage, although they're switching to Shield Bot, curiously. Like, really, are they... Oh, yeah, they probably see the... I don't know if they saw the Zeus, but they're probably going to go for Racketeer now that they have. I mean, why not, really? All things considered. And it's unclear. They haven't been using the shield bot factory for anything yet, but still, that's that's not really the point, is it? The point is more so, Snuggle Base right now has territory. They have economy. And when territory they haven't converted to economy, they're actually not doing so. Why are they not doing so? Where's... Come on, Snuggle Base, where are... Well, that's all of your conjurers. Okay, I guess. And yes, indeed, racketeers are being built in the shield bot factory for Snuggle Base, which will allow them to get rid of the Zeus's with relative ease. Although, to be fair, the Zeus's are succumbing to attrition, and 400's commander about to go down. Well, maybe. This one warrior won't be enough, but one more warrior coming in here, that commander, it might not be able to heal in time. No, it's able to, it's able to get away just barely. 30 health at the end there. Way too close for comfort, and those Zeus's now starting to succumb to attrition. One of them already going down, and the other one should be going down in this fight. Well, now it is definitely, thanks to it running away. It dies for its cowardice. But Snuggle Base coming in, getting, and that's it! 400 deciding they can't possibly defend this, throws in the towel, that is game. Alright, well, that was... that. Sheesh. That was quite a convincing match. So, hope you enjoyed that. That was, that turned around faster than I expected it to. I mean, 400, they, they got some decent early harassment, but losing those early constructors just put them back way too far to be comfortable. So that was, that was really what it came down to. They didn't manage to harass as much. They got a good early expansion, but they didn't defend it that well, and it got completely wiped out over and over. And that, that pretty much did them in. So yeah. Also, accessing metal is never a good idea. No. Ah, there we go. What the heck graph was I looking at there? Metal excess, yeah, 900 metal excess. What the heck? Oh, I see. They just stopped using metal near the end of the round. What? Really? Hmm. No, it looks like it's more that stuff blew up. I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. That's the stuff blowing up because they didn't resign normally. Screw up the graphs. Darn it, 400, you messed up statistics. Be careful about that. Statistics are fragile, you know. Well, anyway... Next match will hopefully be less statistically volatile. Google Frog and Laurie, 
on Lonely Oasis. So that'll be up in a couple seconds. Stay tuned. Or minutes. Stay tuned. <laughs>